And Nick played really, really well. I mean, the dude's first half was incredible. He scored out of the post, shot jump shots, rebounded the ball, ran the floor well. He did a lot of stuff that people don't really pay attention to. Like when he ran the floor, it opened it up for our guards to drive off of him. And, and his offense was going, so that was something that we were able to go to, uh, especially early in the game. And uh, he was incredible for us today. The Missouri coach said he thought that that matchup or the bigs and against the bigs, whoever did better with the bigs, that was a real step up for that team to win. Mm -hmm. How much did, were you guys emphasizing the bigs as key? No, we've been doing that the past couple past couple games. Uh, was just emphasizing the post, uh, posting up hard, keeping your feet moving. KP talked about it earlier today um, before the game about they're going to fight us in the post. We're going to have to fight them in the post. But if our feet are stuck in the mud, then we're not going to get the ball. We're not going to get a good position. So we had to keep moving, keep our feet moving. And uh, Nick did a really, really good job of that early, and he was able to get it, get the ball wherever he wanted to. Emmanuel's threes were huge. The first mm -hmm. one gave you the lead, got everybody going, and then the second and third did the same thing. He's a pretty good transition three-point shooter, isn't he? Yeah, he is. We do a drill at the end of practices where he shoots or we shoot in transition. Uh, everybody's legs are tired. You're running up and down for however many hours during practice, and that's the last thing you do. Um, and, and he makes... 15 in a row most of the time. It's actually pretty incredible, and he's our guy going or our go-to guy at the end of the games when legs are tired because we can we understand we trust that he's going to make those shots. What did you think of the one he made from the corner where I think it hit high off the rim? And I couldn't tell if it hit the clock yeah, <laughs> and then came no, down. Uh, what? <laughs> I mean, I was on the floor. I was trying to get the ball, but uh, no, that's, a, that's another big shot. You know, it bounces up, bounces off the top of the backboard and in, and it's another momentum change like he just said. So. For us to make shots like that and kind of get our momentum going in, in the right direction is big. Nate, did you have your heart in your throat when you saw Ashton take that bad step? I actually had. I didn't. I didn't know until I saw him over at the uh, at the team huddle. But yeah, I mean, that's he's our guy. He's our go-to guy on offense, on defense. He gets stuff moving. Um, he gets us the ball on defense, and uh, I'm hoping everything's all right with him for sure. Whitney, uh, Khalil's been struggling, obviously, and I wonder what kind of psychological blow it is that you know you went in for the dunk had it blocked how how tough is that to deal with when things aren't going well uh i don't know i mean khalil's gonna trust his training he's in the gym all the time everything's gonna start to click for him he's also an 18 year old kid so it's it happens you get a, a dunk blocked well the next one's gonna go on the kid's head and you can i can say that right now because i know it that's just how he plays he's gonna do the same thing next time and he's gonna dunk it next time so I don't know. I think he'll be fine. It's, he's trusting his training. Like I said, he's in the gym with us in the early in the morning today, me and KP, and he was in the gym last night before the managers played their game. So he's consistently doing. He's consistently working hard, and he's consistently in the gym, and everything's going to start to pay off for him.